Hey everybody, welcome to my fifth video on exponents. In this example, we're going to go over a rational expression that has a exponent on the top of the rational expression. And before I get started with this example, I want to say that there is many different ways in which you can simplify this expression. So if you find another way that is easier than the way I do it, um, I highly recommend just doing it whatever way that you feel more comfortable with as long as you get the right answer. So the first thing I want to do is I want to simplify the, the constants in the front. Notice how we have a 6 over 9 in the front of, of the expression and the inside of the parentheses. So 6 over 9 can be reduced to 2 thirds. So the 6 over 9 in the front of the expression can be reduced to 2 over 3 and everything else stays the same. We have a x with a one-third exponent. We have a y with a negative two-thirds exponent. In the denominator we have a x squared and we have a y with a negative two exponent. And then on the outside of the parentheses we have a three exponent on the top. And before I continue with this example I'm just going to scroll to the right so I have a little more space to work. And like I said before, there's many different ways in which we can solve this problem. Now the next thing I want to do is get rid of the parentheses and get rid of this 3 exponent that is on top of the parentheses. And the way we do this is very similar to the power rule. We need to take the exponent and multiply it by all of the exponents inside of the parentheses. Uh, for example, this exponent of 3 needs to be multiplied with the exponent that is on top of the 2, which you don't see, so you can assume that there is a 1 exponent on top of the 2. So if you take the 2 and we multiply the exponents, 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Now let's do the same thing with our x term. If you take the outside exponent of 3 and you multiply it by the exponent of 1 third, 3 times 1 third is 3 over 3, or 1. So we have a 1 exponent on top of the x. Now let's do the same thing with our y term. If we take our exponent of 3 and you multiply it with the exponent on top of the y, 3 times negative 2 thirds is negative 6 over 3. Negative 6 over 3 is negative 2. So now we need to do the same exact thing with all of our terms in the denominator. So let's start out with the 3. So we need to take our outside exponent and we need to multiply it by the exponent that's on top of the 3, which you don't see, so you can assume that is a 1 exponent. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3, so we have a 3 exponent. Now let's do the same thing with our x term. If we multiply the outside exponent with the exponent that is on top of the x, we have 2 multiplied by 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And finally, let's do the same thing with our y term. If we multiply the outside exponent of 3 with the exponent on top of the y, we have negative 2 multiplied times 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So before I continue with this example, I'm going to scroll to the right just to give myself a little bit more space. So now we have successfully gotten rid of the parentheses. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the constants in the front of the expression. Uh, we have a 2 cubed. 2 cubed is just 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And in our denominator, we have 3 cubed, which is just 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And if you remember from my previous video, if you have two exponents with a common base, you can simplify them by subtracting the exponents. Um, so let's do this with our x term. We have an x, and since we're dividing the x, we can subtract the exponents. So we have our exponent of 1, and we can subtract that with our other exponents of 6. Now let's do the same thing with our y term. Um, it's being divided with each other, so we can subtract the exponents. So we have an exponent of negative 2, and we need to subtract that with the other exponents of negative 6. And if we continue simplifying this, we still have our 8 over 27 in the front. Our x term can be simplified. We have a 1 minus 6 in the exponent position. 1 minus 6 is equal to negative 5. And our y term, we have negative 2 minus negative 6 in the exponent position. Uh, 
we have two negatives, so that becomes a positive. Negative 2 plus 6 is equal to positive 4. So one more time, let me scroll to the right just to give myself a little bit more space. So now I want you to notice how we have a negative exponent in our final answer. And that is not okay. You can never leave your final answer with a negative exponent. So if you remember my previous video, we know that a negative exponent in the numerator is a positive exponent in the denominator. So this x has a negative exponent in the numerator right now. So we can rewrite that x term with a positive 5 exponent in the denominator. And everything else stays the same. We have a 27, which is in the denominator. So that stays in the denominator. And we have a 8, which is in the numerator. So that stays in the numerator. And we have a y to the fourth power in the numerator. So that stays in the numerator. And this can't be simplified any further. This is our final answer. We have 8y to the fourth over 27x to the fifth. So I hope this gave you a better idea on how to simplify expressions with exponents. I really hope that you are enjoying my videos, and I will see you in my next one.